Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here in our kennel on top of Mount Saint something where we are warm and cuddled up next to the fire most of the time with our wonderful puppies Sierra, Striker, Max, and Domino. Oh that's right Max, I gotta give you guys your daily snuggles. Oh, I love how that's Max's favorite thing, that is just adorable. And we just finished going on enough races that we finally were able to cover our club dues. I was so worried that we wouldn't make our league dues in time and I have no idea what would happen like you I think you have to release dogs if you don't have enough money to cover your league expenses that would have been terrifying <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, really, really glad we were able to meet the League 4 dues, which is quite expensive uh, because it's $1,000 per dog. And we have expanded the kennel. Look at this. We have more room inside of our kennel, which is absolutely fantastic because that means that is more room for potential new dogs. And having new dogs means we can run some bigger races and running bigger races means we can earn more money. And earning more money means we can eventually hire a whole bunch of new staff to help us with training and resting our dogs and also be able to breed our dogs. In order to breed your dogs, you need six dogs on the team. We only have four right now, so we do need to adopt a new dog pretty soon, but I kind of want to expand the kennel before we do that. Every dog we adopt will be a thousand dollars more on top of our kennel expenses. So let's go ahead and we're going to race a few races, get up to eight thousand dollars and expand the kennel once again. All right, and we have a, a sponsorship deal coming up pretty soon too. So all right, First things first, everybody gets to snuggle up by the fire, even though, oh no, Striker, I didn't mean to leave you out, girl. Oh, I'm so sorry, Striker. I was about to say, even though she didn't go on the last race, she can rest with us too. Oh, Striker, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go ahead and make it. So now we can train all of our dogs and let's grab Striker for that. There we go. Look at their skills, you guys. Oh, I have such really talented dogs. There we go. They're capping out at their skills, so that means that soon they should probably level up at them. And it looks like we have a sponsorship deal coming up pretty soon too. So tomorrow we should be interrupted by our sponsors and we'll see what they have to offer us. But if it's not a new food bag, I'm not taking it. The food bag with its extra treat. <gasps> level three food bag, yes, okay, I'm taking it. I will take it, oh my goodness. Level of food capacity to nine. That is really going to help us out. We'll remove the sponsorship deal. Um, and I guess I have to remove this one you. There we go. So I'm going to remove the other sponsorship deals and we are going to take the Fiber Shoptic Level 3 food bag. It increases the food bag capacity to 9. I will definitely take that. Hopefully getting rid of the level 1 sled is a good idea. But I just know that those food bags always turn out to be so useful for races. So hopefully that's the right choice. Alright, what is tomorrow's race going to be? A 3 dog race with excessive restocks. It's going to have 3 big giant boulders we can jump over which are actually exciting because that means we'll be able to toss the treats and try to get more fame for our dogs. I think we'll go ahead and take Sierra next then because Sierra, let's go ahead and train everybody so we can get them all ready and prompted for the day. There we go. But we'll go ahead and take Sierra with us on the race because we are trying to get her to level up a little bit more so she can be on par with Striker. Sometimes if you push your best dogs ahead without training the other ones, when you get to later races, you can have the middle dogs end up totally wearing out and dragging down the whole team. So sorry, I'm so sorry, Striker. Just hang on, we'll be with you soon. All right, wonderful. So let's see, 100% chance of the good things happening, what? Yay, okay, so it looks like the good catch, Domino can lunge out of his position to catch stray throws, has 100% chance of happening this race. That is so exciting, probably because he's so happy. And then we have a 100% chance of a light eater. Max can enter in energy efficient mode and tire slowly for a time. Wonderful, and a 50% chance of Sierra being able to get a second wind when she becomes tired. So let's go ahead and start the race and see how all of our puppies do. All right, guys, we're racing for more leg room. I promise you guys new dog beds if we're able to get enough money to expand to the bigger kennel. So let's see if we manage to pull that off. All right, I think Sierra is gonna be the first one. Oh my goodness, come on, Sierra. Catch this, catch this. Yes, okay, we've got, oh no, she didn't catch it. She didn't catch it, you guys, and her fault kicked in. What the heck? Oh my gosh, not good, not good. Fumble fingers activated. <laughs> Serious fault of fumble fingers. Oh, there's just dog treats everywhere. It's just gonna, it's gonna look like a trail of dog treats behind us. Oh, that's terrible. We'll probably have all sorts of stray dogs just wandering by going, well, what's this? And eating them. Oh gosh, I can't believe I did that. All right, so onward we go. 
All right, Domino's pretty excited. Deep breath, Siri, we can do this. I just have to wait. Oh, look, his, his good trait activated. So the dogs are looking over their shoulders waiting for their treats. Well, you guys, you've got you've to actually work on... <laughs> All right, there we go. You guys need to work on actually... Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Max, Max, Fumble Fingers majorly activated. Is Fumble Finger race left and right? Max, you ran into a boulder. I am so sorry. I've got to calm down. Okay, I've really got to calm down. We're still in like fifth place too. This is not good. Okay, I've got this. Let's toss some treats to our puppies. We're passing up a whole bunch of people all at once. I'm not sure if we haven't closed the gap quickly enough. All right. Come on, Sierra. There you go, girl. I should have waited a little bit longer. All right, there is for Domino. I totally missed Domino. Can you catch that? Nope, because guess what? All right, there we go. Oh, Domino, I'm sorry. He got tired. <laughs> what am I doing? Breathe, Siri. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. All right, now Max can have his treat. You missed, Siri! Oh, fumble fingers race left and right, and my puppies are suffering for it. Ah, that's not good. Okay, okay, calm down. And focus. We're almost to the end. Where we're closing in. Wait for the puppies. Wait. Okay, now they're ready. Toss the treats. Can we make it? Somebody is trying to come up from the back. Oh my gosh, come on guys, come on. Oh my gosh. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I can't believe we've had such a fumble fingers race. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's terrible. Well, at least they're going to be able to get some rest. I haven't raced that badly in a long time. What do I need? Do I need like a hot cocoa or something to kind of wake my brain up? I cannot believe I did that to everybody. Puppies, I'm so sorry. All right, we're gonna get some major rest, like ASAP. And then everybody gets pets, by the way, because Max is gonna want his pets. There you go, Max, so you can have your favorite thing. And we're gonna go ahead and rest. And come on in, Striker. You can join our little snuggle pile. And hopefully I'll get everybody rested up before we have another race in a couple days. I'm so sorry, Domino. All right, I've got to take some deep breaths and clear my mind. If we're gonna wanna be worthy of expanding the kennel, I cannot behave like that. All right, we've gotta get with the game. Like I was saying last time, this isn't a hobby race anymore. We've become professionals, professional mushers. And that means I really need to get with it. All right, so hang on, not yet. It's a four dog race. Yes, I love the four dog races. <sighs> Deep breaths. All right, we've got this, you guys. Oh, and Striker's like sad because she hasn't been out for a long time. So we're gonna take the whole team with us and let's go ahead and put them in the lineup and let's do this. All right, a nice night race. We've got the whole team with us. We've got a brand new food bag. It should be totally fine. Already need to jump with our dogs. Oh boy. Oh, dang it. I was hoping we would be able to get some fame from jumping that obstacle. I didn't even check how many obstacles we were going to be facing because I was just so eager to dive back in and redeem myself. But I guess that's kind of a, a important thing to think about. When you fail and fall down flat like that and it's kind of humiliating, then it is kind of nice to just be like, I'm going to try to do even better next time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And there was the dead silence of, I'm not doing better next time. I can't believe that. I'm so sorry, puppies. Okay, I've really got to get it together. I don't know what is with me right now. Okay, all right, there you go, Max. Okay, perfect throw. We've got to pull this together. Just because we're still elated that we were able to meet the bills last time doesn't mean there's any promises and the team being able to endure if I totally keep messing up like this. All right, Domino, you're really far away. Hang in there, everybody. All right, I think I managed to get Domino his treat in time. All right, we're already in second place. See, I just need to kind of focus. There we go. And Striker's had her favorite thing, so hopefully her happiness will be going up. Oh, come on, yes. All right, even though the wind was against us. Phew. And now it looks like we are safely in first, but I really learned my lesson last time. I thought we were safely in first and we totally ended up getting tossed. Okay, come on, Max. 
Oh, good. He got some fame for that. All right, good, good. And there you go, striker. All right, wait for it. And Sierra. Okay, that was early. Did we really pull into the lead that quickly, though? I am not. Oh, no, you don't. I see you coming from back there. Oh, and I missed Domino. <laughs> oh, maybe I need a new pair of mittens because my I were in first place again, but my fumble fingers was terrible. And at least our fatigue capacity has gone up. Max is like one of the most professional racing dogs we've got. His fame has gone up again. Huzzah, level seven. How high can his fame even go? There we go. And that's what we really wanted to see with Sierra is she now has better middle specialty. So now she'll have even more endurance for being able to go on races with us. All right, Stryker is working on building up her endurance as well. I'm so sorry, guys. I did not mean to fumble so bad. It wasn't as terrible as it could be, though. We have not ever pushed our dogs so hard that they are critically exhausted in a very long time. All right, so good, 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 good. Petite capacity, fame, everything going on up, even if this is a terrible fumble fingers race lately. And let's go ahead and get some rest. Look at this. Yes, we can expand. Okay, you guys, without waiting for further ado, we are definitely going to go ahead. I'm going to switch everybody over just in case into caretaking mode because I'm not sure if sometimes the quick errands actually like make it go a day ahead. And we are going to expand the kennel. I'm not even I'm not even going to question it. We're just going to shoot straight for that. Now we're out of all of our money, <laughs> which is a little bit nerve wracking. All right, still, okay, everybody's good. And we're gonna go ahead, get some rest. There we go. There we go. Everybody's doing okay. Fatigue is going down on all of our dogs. Wonderful, another day. Oh, oh, am I writing in my journal again? Raleigh told me about the town after Aurora left. They were sad she wasn't around, but her caretaker's story had con convinced them that she was doing the right thing, wherever she was. The monument to Aurora was put up shortly after. Oh, that's so wonderful. She saved so many lives. Oh, see, and it's important to remember that the dog helped in that, because a lot of the, like, rescue stories you'll hear, the animal will kind of just disappear from the equation, and everybody will talk about, like, oh, hey, so-and-so was so talented, and they're, like, police dog or whatever. Oh, is it time for racing? Let's do it. All right, come on puppies. I know Domino's still a little bit tired, but I think we can pull this off. All right, we're gonna swap out for Domino. I'm going to actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and keep Sierra. I wanna swap Sierra out for Striker. actually. Can I do that? Yeah, Striker. there you are. All right, so actually Striker has middle level specialty three. Uh, okay, so we'll do Sierra. I wanna do Striker. We're just gonna take Striker. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, Domino, it's a snowy race. Good, so he has his favorite thing. Very important for that. And let's see if I can redeem myself because that was quite the sad display of fumble fingers in the last couple races. So hopefully this time around, I can show that I've got what it takes to lead this awesome sled dog team. All right, I think I get too distracted by the obstacles sometimes and how much fun it is to try to get fame on top of the obstacles. All right, there you go, Striker. And let's see here. Max, there you go. Domino, tossing one down your way, boy. Good job, he got it, he got it. All right, and then right over here for Striker. Oh, that was a little early. Man poop way at the back. <laughs> this early part of the race before you catch up with everybody always makes me kind of nervous because you're just waiting. You're like, doo, 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 doo. I'm sure I'll see all of, oh, there's one. Yes, okay, we're seeing some of the other racers now. That always makes me feel better. Because when we're so far back, we can't even see them. It is a little discouraging. All right. Oops. Missed, missed Max, but it's probably for the best. Oh, sweet. And the boys managed to do their dual treat catch that sometimes they do. Okay. So, yeah. Another obstacle I wasn't able to exploit. Fooey. All right. Wait for it. And probably a little too early. What? What the heck? It's already the end of the race. Quick, striker. Grab the treat! Oh my gosh, Max, I love you. Did you see that? He tried to get like better at the very last second and gave us that last little push. Max, you're so awesome. You deserve all of that fame that you have. All right, so he got a little bit more fame because we managed to do a double treat catch uh, in the middle of the race, so that's a good thing. Striker is getting a bit more fame too, and we're working, oh, ta-da! Fatigue capacity now is up for Domino. 
and we're working on expanding the kennel. So I'm pretty excited because once we expand the kennel, we can get another dog, maybe even two dogs, maybe even hire somebody. Uh, we can afford to hire another dog. Do I wanna do that now? There's 16 days left. I think I'm gonna wait because I wanna have at least enough money to cover our dues before we hire another dog because it's going to be another $1,000 on top of our monthly dues. Uh, in fact, I think we should just go ahead and like race for the next league rather than hire another dog. So that's kind of my plan. All right, we're gonna go ahead and caretake the whole team. There we go. And there's another race coming up. Uh, should we run it? Is it gonna be a big one or a little one? All right, let me check really quickly. It is going to be a long one and it is going to be a four dog race. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the dogs trained up with a nice skill training regime. And then I will see you guys next time when we will return. Oh, oh level four food bag, level four food bag. I will take it. Yes. Level four food bag, all right, I'm happy about that. I will totally take the level four food bag, awesome. <laughs> Good job, Max, it's probably your fame that managed to help us out with that. And I will see you guys next time when we will continue on with more races. And I know it's slow but steady right now, just trying to race, 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 so that we can expand the kennel. But eventually, it'll be totally worth it because we will become super famous with our dog team. And then we will be able to see the adorable puppies that they're going to be able to have and to add even more members into the family. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.